Hey everybody, it's Mike, Kinderhook Woodcraft, and I want to show you the sidecar crib I've been working on. It's my best friend's daughter's having a baby, and uh, I guess she found this thing, or someone did, on Instructables.com. I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, I followed the plan pretty close. Mine's a little bit different. Um, I added a few curves around the top, and uh, I changed the structure of the bottom. Some of the footage didn't make it into this. Uh, I had problems with my memory card, and, and I got in a hurry there at the end, and I, I just, some of it I didn't film. At the end of this, you'll see where uh, my progress stops. Someone else is going to paint it, and it's also going to get some legs that are going to get fitted to it once it arrives, you know, at its destination. Also, I got my first sticker in the mail, Woodworker 631. You guys should check out this channel. They're doing incredible work, and their video production is really, really good. I've got a piece of plywood. I'm going to buy some lumber and make a frame for it so I can make a sticker board. And uh, I know I've got a couple more stickers coming in the mail. But if you want to swap stickers, leave something in the comments and, uh, and we'll figure it so out. So this is apparently called a sidecar crib. I hope that's not a copyright infringement. You can see are the, those are the forks. You sli slip them up in between the mattress and the box spring. And uh, I suppose I guess it holds it up. It's also going to end up having legs on the back of it just for extra support. <clears throat> Actually, I've already started. I tried to film that, but I think my memory got, card got full. Anyway, this is just, a, obviously it's a three-quarter, very shallow rabbit. I just want to, you know, make the corners look as nice as I can. Um, and that's all I was going to do. I was just going to fasten the bottom to it with nails. But I know this is getting painted. That's why we're using this kind of pine. I can easily fill in these little tear-out places with anything since it's getting painted. I'll probably use uh, rock putty, which I don't have right here. I call it rock putty. It's rock hard water putty. And I'll show you that can in a minute. But I decided, uh, since of course it's going to get painted, I, I really want this thing to look as nice as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap it in for the bottom so that the solid wood covers the edge of the plywood. And, uh, and it'll take a better finish. And I'm just going to use my hold fast. And I want a sacrificial board. Because pine dents easy. So I'm using that hatchet. Same thing. I'll be using these square head, uh, their trim head screws. They leave very small holes, so they can be puttied over. And I'm gonna want probably one, two, three of them. So I'll stay off the stay off the corner about I don't know an inch. I'm gonna bring it up a little further, right, just right about there. And then right somewhere in the middle. So then I'll transfer my marks around and uh, I'll drill my countersink and counter bore. Now I know this is three quarters of an inch and I want to put the screws, uh, they can be, they should really be roughly half of what this is. So it screws right into the middle of the board it attached to. So I'm going to set my square at three eighths because that's half of three quarters. And that's where I'm going to want to drill my hole, but I'm going to mark that on this, this back side. And uh, what I'm going to show you is the, you know, counter bore, counter sink, pilot hole combination that will, you know, always work for you. It's a little extra, but it's worth doing. So I'm going to drill through here with my, this is a combination. It drills a pilot hole and a countersink. Um, but I'm going to drill this. See there, there that knot. You could probably get away with these kind of screws. You could probably get away with just running them in. 
in this pond. It's really soft, but I got a knot right there, so I'm going to definitely want to relieve that. And so I'm going to do the counterbore, and then uh, I'm going to put them together and do the pod hole. See how that's going to give me a nice little place to seat the head of my screw. Now I'm going to take a bigger drill bit. And I'm going to drill right through that. And what that does is that gives the screw a little bit of clearance. So when it bites into the next board, it's just digging in. The next hole that goes into the next board would be just a little bit smaller than this. And I'm going to use just this little little pilot bit. It almost seems like it's not worth doing, but I think it is. And make sure I'm in my joint real good. And that's all I'm going to do because whenever I go to glue it, I want it to be a good fresh bite to hold it together while the glue dries. So I'm just going to temporarily tack it together so I can get a measurement. <laughs> 